This is a 1957 GMC 100 pickup truck, which is of course the uh, brother to the 3100 series. This is a short bed and it's got the nice bonus of having a big back window, original. It's got a lot of other bonuses too. This has got a uh, 454 big block in it. Power steering. Which is really nice to have. But it's actually still on the original frame. It's got a turbo 400 transmission in it. I kind of want you to... In the video, you could kind of pay attention to my hand or my finger there and see this truck doesn't wander all over the road. It steers very nice and easy. Of course, it's still an old truck, so you have to be intentional to drive them, not like a brand new one. But it just, this truck really drives down the road nice. Speedometer works, odometer works, temp gauge, all the gauges work. It's starting to get a little late in the day. So we may get a little bit of shadow on the on the vehicle, but let me see if I can get it here kind of where we can eliminate the shadow some. Got a nice strong running three uh, 454. Take a quick look under the hood and then I'll turn it off and show you around the rest of the truck. Just want to hear the engine run nice and strong. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes when I turn it off, it doesn't do it, and sometimes it does. Let's see if it does it now. Just a hair of that starter, little starter tick on it. It's just like tick right when you turn the truck off sometimes. So I do these, um, I do these video inspections because I want people to, most of the time, you know, if you're watching this video, you're thinking about buying this truck, most likely you're halfway across the United States or the world, we're gonna ship it to you. And the reason I do these video inspections is to show you what's wrong with it more, in some ways more than what's right. Because I think in this industry, everybody's trying to hide stuff. And uh, that's why I do the video inspection. So anyways, no ticks or unusual sounds in the engine. It runs great. My wife and I have been driving this truck. And um, I mean, I let my wife drive this truck. Like I said, power steering, got a nice clean, you know, uh, chrome valve cover set on it. Looks really pretty. Um, you know, nothing spectacular, no, nothing, you know, to win a car show in or anything like that, but just the fact that it's got a really nice, good running motor. It's got a nice, um, aluminum radiator. That was a very expensive addition and it, I've never seen it go over. I think it must have a 180 thermostat in it and I've never seen it go over 180. I mean, so the transmission shifts perfectly. Like I said, all the gauges work. Yeah, it's sitting, even sitting still, which usually the temp will go up right there, you see. Watch. It won't, it won't, I've never seen the needle go past that, so. Um, it's a great truck. Gotta be intentional, of course, with it because it's old, you know, like having to close the doors hard and stuff like that. It's got a nice straight body on it. It's not ready for a, uh, ten thousand dollar paint job or anything but it's got a nice straight body on it it looks like a uh, just a truck that somebody's kept good care of the tailgate's not all beaten up in fact tailgate is in excellent condition it almost looks like new and it could be it could be a replacement tailgate because it looks very very clean but even in the inside of the bed you know these old trucks usually were work trucks and they got all beat up inside this one's not all beat up and dented in the bed it's nice and clean it's got a uh, hardwood uh, floor in there that probably with some sanding and a new coat of, coat of clear would look pretty nice try and get out of the sun there getting sunspots on the camera 
nice straight body it really wouldn't take much to make it ready for a nice paint job if that's the route you wanted to go with this truck i think this truck run is awesome the way it is I mean, it, to me, it doesn't need anything to be enjoyed just like it is right now. The windows roll up and down. Um, like I said, it drives great. All the lights work. Interior door panels look good. Gauges look nice. The radio does work. I mean, it's old, you can see, so it needs, it could use a new one. And actually, there's a little plastic panel here, and I had forgotten the guy I got it from. There's actually the original piece to go there. It's in the glove box. I forgot, he handed that to me at the last minute. He said, I never got a chance to stick this in. I just got it. See, so he had ordered another piece. It's got a headliner in it, and it's got some padding, and it looks like it may be sagging down a hair, but it's all intact. It's not falling out. Um, it's got the uh, sun visors in it, which is really nice. A lot of times those are missing. Nice and clean. This is, I would, I would almost, I almost want to call it a 100% rust free truck. I'm going to show you the underneath in a minute. It's got some superficial rust on it, but I didn't find any rust anywhere. So just wanted to show, you know, clean carpet pad. Uh, all the glass is good, except for this driver's window. It's cracked. Right there you can see other than that every other piece of glass in the truck is in good shape of course your expensive ones that's the most important the front and the big back window in the back those are both in excellent condition in fact the weather stripping looks new on this big back window i don't know if it's new or not weather stripping looks almost new on the front too so i think that somebody may have replaced the front and back window um or maybe they took it out when they were painting it and put it back in with new fresh weather shipping. This looks like fresh weather shipping too. I think some of the seals around the door were pretty new. Yeah, that looks pretty new around the door. So, now I say new. I don't know that that means brand new. I'm just saying it doesn't look old and crusty like it's original. <sighs> Underneath the truck looks nice and clean. There's your power steering unit. It's actually got a great turning radius on it steers obviously significantly better than original but the fact is is that nobody uh cut the frame on this one it's got the original frame it's just had power steering added so you can see that there's no frame modifications um it is kind of dirty under here this uh, truck is from texas okay there's the two rough spots that i did find in the truck in the back cab corners both sides look just like this i'll show you the other side but somebody's done a replacement on the outside with steel. So it's not messed up on the, on the outside. It's been, it's been repaired on the outside. I don't know why people do that, but I see it a lot. I've had a, gosh, I've had probably 50, 60 of these trucks since I've been in business. Like I said, it's a little dirty under there from Texas mud and Georgia red clay being driven here, but it's clean and rust free. But yeah, I don't know why people do that. I don't know why people replace the outside, but I see it, I've seen it on a couple of dozen trucks. The outside cab corner replaced and the inside one not. All rust free back here. I believe that's the original rear end. Looks like somebody re-chromed the rear bumper. It's nice and shiny. Looks like it's re-chromed. I think it had a sticker on it there, but that doesn't, I don't think that scratches. Nope, that's coming off. So no scratches, dings or dents in the rear bumper at all. It looks like it's, it looks like it's almost new. Just inspecting these fenders, step ups here. That, that metal looks so clean, it's unbelievable. The previous owner says that's original. They'd cleaned it up. You know, just look at that. I mean, this is original metal. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah, I did say I would show you that one spot over here. Same thing with the camera I adjust. Only rust in the whole truck that I've seen just right there. Original floor pans in excellent condition. I haven't seen any leaks in the tranny or in the engine on this truck. Tires have, uh, front tires have probably about 30% tread left on them. It's your front fender. So aside from that cab corner rust, 
I can't remember if I did this fender or not, so I'm doing it again. They all like they like to rust out there too in that spot, and uh, this one is rust free. You know where the where your foot goes on the inside of the cab. They always like to rust out there. So, anyways, there you have it. Aside from those two cab corners, this is a rust free truck. The body panels are straight. It's got a 454 big block automatic, 400 turbo transmission. It's a big back window truck. I think it's a great deal for a truck that's ready to drive and uh, you can just keep tinkering with it, you know, but it really doesn't need anything to be enjoyed just like it sits.